hello everyone welcome to my channel um this is a new channel and one of the reasons why i got on here tonight well it's tonight where i live but um, i got on here because i launched out and started my uh plant-based um food product business and so we launched it out with granola so i just wanted to share this process with you all i wanted to I thought I was going to start off my YouTube channel with um, just talking about the food, which I will. I will post food and stuff like that. But today, I um, just wanted to share, bring you along the journey of me starting this uh, food business. Um, and so the things that I've been learning this week has been amazing. And so for our first day, we did really good. Um, people were really loving the granola. And so um, how I do it is I'll bake on one day and then I'll deliver the product, um, deliver the, the granola the next day. So, um, and it all, how this even came about was um, I'm on a plant-based diet. I guess you could say vegan, but I eat honey, so that's why I don't really just say vegan. But most of my dishes is vegan unless I put like honey or something in there. But um, so on this journey, um, how I even got to becoming a vegan or a plant on a plant based diet is God began to deal with me about my eating habits and. One day I went on a fast, and when I came off the fast, that's when my whole eating eating habits uh, just changed, and I began to eat more healthier. And so as I began to do my research on healthy eating and just learning, transitioning, you know, how to cook more healthier and stuff like that, I began to want to share that with others. So that's how the passion of me wanting to help others eat more healthier and stuff like that so moving forward now years later then god begins to deal with me about my salt intake so i'm like okay like you know like okay so just being mindful of my salt intake and as much as possible you know try to you know not add the salt as much or you know if possible you know not not add any salt at all so i began to so when i would go in a store um one of the reasons why uh, I started this business is because I didn't find any food products that um, that was for what I was trying to do in, with with my lifestyle, which is being like salt free or low sodium. And so uh, when I would see like the granola or the cereals, it would be like I would be like, OK, you know, especially when you begin to do research on healthy oils and, you know, salt and stuff like that. And you just trying to cut back on your salt intake. I was like, OK, well, I can't have this because this either has too much salt or the salt may be OK, but then it's the, the oils that's used. And so it was just like, OK, so then I'm like, well, let me just make my own so that's how um our granola came about is for me not seeing the ingredients that i would like that fits you know my lifestyle and what i'm trying to do um and so that's what made me god gave me the idea to make the granola and so our granola actually served three it's like a three in one so you can eat it as a snack or you can eat it as a cereal or you can top it off with um, like a smoothie bowl or some vegan ice cream. So um, we launched on Monday and it was a good turnout. Um, uh, I think I made like 30 bags. I made 30 bags. And so um, we sold, I think about 17 bags, I think it was. I'm not for sure. I got to look at the numbers again. But it was a really good day. And so we had some bags left over. So it was like God. And that's what I want to share with you all. Like I want to share this journey with you all. Because I've, I've never had this business before. So I'm learning what works. What, what doesn't work. And I know like. I say about three years ago. I had um, started. A, um, same thing but different. A snack. Um, um, plant based. Um snack company and at that time i was selling 
uh, vegan cookies, vegan uh, brownies, uh, vegan cheesecakes. And so what I learned at that time, because I didn't know, I'm just transporting in my car and just trying to just really move in what, you know, I believe God was telling me to do at the time. And so each time I was learning like, okay, I'm going to have to not do, because um, when I launched at that time, it was summertime. And so the snacks were like, uh, the cheesecake rather, was melting on my way trying to deliver it. And then I'm like, okay, this is a mess like this. And then when I was driving, I don't know if I had a box. I don't know. And so it was just, I was just like, okay, this is not working. So a lot of, you know, um, that... I learned a lot from that first time. Then the second time I decided, um, okay, I'm just gonna do, I think I just did cookies or something like that. And then I also, um, that was so many years ago, I'm trying to remember, did I do pre-order? I can't remember, but I tried to do that two times. And so I left that alone for a minute and then it's moving forward now. A uh, guy gave me the idea about the granola and which is really good. It's a good product It's really good and what really made me outside of God give me the idea is my daughter like my no This is really good. This is you know something that you can sell so I'm like, okay And this time what I didn't want to do because I had like two ideas that God had given me and I go in the store Myers, I don't know if you all have a Myers where you stay but where I say uh, that it's a Myers, uh, not too far. And so I go in there and I see, I think it was Myers and Walmart. I can't remember, but I go into one of these stores and I see the idea, the name that God had given me for. Now, one of the uh, names, they had spelled it a little different, but it's the same thing. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So when this idea came, I'm like, oh no, uh-uh, we not, we not doing this. Uh -uh, uh -uh. When God give me something, I'm going to act on it, and I'm just going to figure out everything along the way. And so uh, y'all got to excuse me, my eyes are. Um, I was just sitting, sitting, listening to a podcast, um, and then no, not a podcast, a YouTube channel. And uh, she motivated me to want to, you know, go ahead and get this video out and just to share my journey of launching this uh, plant-based food business. And so I just wanted to share some things that I'm um, learning right now and maybe it can help you. And so here I am. But um, uh, moving forward, um, so I started uh, Monday. Um, today is Thursday. We must say it's almost about to be uh, 11. So we almost out of Thursday, but today is Thursday. And so I was, um, I, uh, I went around, you know, just delivering the, um, uh, the granola and I got really good feedback. Um, actually I had got, um, this, uh, medical office. They wanted me to, uh, come in and do some of their events. So I'm like, okay, so she was letting me know she have an event coming up and she would like to partner with me with that. And so that was Monday. And then Tuesday, um, when I went out to go um, again to sell uh, the, the plant-based granola, um, I guess I can call it vegan because I didn't put honey in this, um, in this particular granola. And so as I'm going, what I've learned from Monday up until now is that each day as I'm going out to um, push the product and get the product out and that people will know about it, I'm learning things as I go. So that's what I wanted to share with someone who is uh, just taking a leap of faith to launch out with your business because maybe like for, for, for me, I had an idea, a couple of ideas, and I didn't act on it, and I'm seeing it in the stores, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> we're we not doing this, not again. So when this, when, um, when this came to me, when God gave me the idea, I'm like, no, I'm running with it, and, and, and because I want to help people, I want to see people eat healthier, and like for me, 
I don't know, some people may have like um, salt restrictions or something like that. But that's one good thing about our granola is it's salt free. And so that was another thing that, you know, when I look for snacks, I look for either no salt or, or low sodium because um, sometimes my feet will get swollen and everything. So I'm like, okay, um, yeah, I'm going to need something that's going to work with, um, you know, my way of eating. And so that's, like I said, that's how this was even birthed out. And so what I learned on Monday was um, just because I'm, I'm, I'm coming out of my, you know, being a laid back personality. So I've been praying to God like, Lord, help me to be more, you know, out, like outside of, you know, my element or my family. I'll just like, if you see me out on a regular, like just regular out in the street somewhere oh i'm quiet or if i'm somewhere or at church or something like that i'm quiet i'm, <laughs> I'm not the one to be all in the front or none of that and so um so this is helping me to even come out of that because it's like you have to come out of your comfort zone to push your product you got to go and talk to people you don't know uh you got to be able to still keep going if they say well oh no i don't you know i don't want you know i know thank you or you know stuff like that so but what i wanted to just encourage you for those who are launching their business for those who are just just taking the leap like you know I've, I've, I've thought about this idea i know it's good or even if you have a product like for me i you know, my daughter, my family been telling me like, no, you need to start this business. You need to get out here. And so when I finally just took the leap, I'm learning things as I go. And so one of the things that I learned today that that's really made me want to get on here today is that um, 10 of my, um, uh, I didn't sell 10 of them. So I was getting kind of frustrated. I'm like, okay, Lord. I didn't make these products. I need, you know, I want them to sell. <laughs> and so, but I had, I made them on Monday and today is Thursday. And so what I've learned through um, my product and that I was like, okay, Lord, now I see why it wasn't able to sell because it's something that you wanted to teach me is why it didn't sell. Because once I start really having the clientele I want to have everything in order so you know they won't be calling like oh this you know you don't want any complaints so one of the things that i learned today was that um our products need to be refrigerated like if they're not um if they're like in a warm temperature like because i i just kept them in a box because i have a box that i transport them in and i just kept them in a box but they need to be in a cool environment. So that taught me like, okay, so today I was like, okay, Lord, now I see why they didn't sell because you were trying to teach me something. It wasn't that you were just trying to not let them sell. It was like, no, this was a lesson. And so sometimes in your journey, in your business, sometimes God will allow something to not happen so you can get the lesson so that it can be even better. So for me, me not selling those 10 products i'm like well lord what's going on it started off good and strong and i know it's a good product i'm like lord what do i do but it was something it was a lesson in that that he wanted to teach me and so i, I was thanking the lord when i sat down in my chair i was like lord i thank you because you showed me something about my product that i didn't know and i wouldn't have wanted to get a whole lot of customers and then not know that okay this needs to be uh sealed more this needs to be chilled like even with me shipping and i didn't even know like earlier today i was looking to um because i know we're going to eventually ship all over and so i'm like okay how do i ship this how do i um get this you know in a good way to to my customers and so i was listening to this uh this lady earlier and she was saying about having like an ice pack you know for your uh perishable items to go in there with your um with your package and so i'm like okay so i didn't really think at the time that i would need it because i'm like this is granola and i don't really think i would need it but come to find out now i know that's something it was like god was just orchestrating my steps the whole day today like letting me know 
before he revealed the problem, he already had given me a solution to the problem. Like, I didn't even know I needed the solution. I just felt led, cause I was like, you know, how can I package my stuff? Because I do have a nephew that stays, you know, out of state from where I live. And I was, I told him, I said, uh, once I get these products uh, up and going, I'm gonna ship them to you and you can let me know how how they come to you, you know, are they in tech and stuff like that. And so I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, I wanna ship some to him, so how can I, you know, make sure that it's, you know, in place. And so I just started um, Googling and YouTubing, you know, how to ship your products and stuff like that. And I came across uh, the young lady who was talking about the um, ice pack, not knowing, not knowing because I didn't even, um, I didn't even, um, oh, and I did a video today for my uh, Facebook page and everything. And so I still, this, I, and, and then also I started giving them away. So it was two lessons that I learned today. Um, the lesson is sometimes you have to give things away just for free. You know, it's not about the money. It's just about the exposure. Like it's not always about getting anything back. It's about you just giving, giving to them and let the exposure, let them, the word of mouth do what it needs to do. And so that was the two lessons that I learned today that sometimes God will allow something not to happen so that you can learn the lesson so that it can be better the, the next time. So I learned that um, my granola needs to be in a cool uh, environment, you know, preferably the refrigerator. So once they, um, you know, get it home, put it in the refrigerator. Um, and then the second thing is that sometimes you just have to give your product away. Um, so, and that was one of the things too, that um, when I first started, I didn't have any samples. And so just, it's amazing what I've learned in these just this four days of me launching the business. I've learned that you want to have samples. They was asking for more, um, more flavors. So now I'm at home like working on, which I had already had another flavor um, already ready, but I was going to save that one for like the holiday because it's a peppermint. So I was going to save that more so for the holiday. And so, um, just just working on different things, working on the um, the social media, you know, getting that everything together. So that's that's all. So I just want to take you all along along with me on this journey of me launching. Uh, I just launched it this week. Today is Thursday. And welcome to my channel. I thought I was going to kick off my channel with cooking and, you know, which I will. I will show you all different things and I will put videos up. But welcome to my channel. This channel is basically about healthy eating and encouragement. And what and then uh, me launching this business and you taking you along the journey with me. So I'm going to um, show you different things that I've been learning. So when I learn something that day. I'll get on here and let you know, well, this is what I learned, or this is, you know, this has been a trying day, or, you know, however, whichever way I can help you with launching your business, but I would just say, get out there and start. One thing I can say in this journey, just, just so far, is that you want to just start, like, some things you're not even going to know, like, I would have never known that if I wouldn't have started, I would have never known that my stuff needs to be in a refrigerator um it needs to be probably eaten within three to four days so it's like some more things that i need to maybe work on to um you know to make sure that the product is at its best so it's just certain things that you're just not going to know until you just dive in and do the work and, and just step out just a leap of faith just <laughs> just step out and so I hope this bless you. Um, once again, welcome to my channel. And I thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to show you um, different videos on this journey of me starting my plant-based food product uh, business. So I thank you once again. And I pray that you all have a blessed and a prosperous day.